It's a... What do you see? This vehicle has sustained some serious damage. Way to stay focused, Doc. What do you see? This vehicle has sustained some serious damage. Way to stay focused, Doc. Mary Pickford. Look! Shh. Look! Shh. I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Step away from the cabin! <gasps> Pardon us for intruding, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us... I don't talk to hooligans! On a very friendly sort. Doc, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to... Listen, just leave it to me. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley, and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. The top of a mop. I could flop it on a cop. I could swap it for a top. I can... I think I'll stop. I don't think so. Maybe not. Look! <laughs> not sure what that... Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment, way back, in the future. Not sure what that... Not sure what that... An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. Hey, Miss Strick- Who are you? Uh, Yakov Shmirnov? That's a foolish name! And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names! But we're not strangers. How do I know you? You tried to have me arrested once, a long time ago. Remember? Listen, Sonny. I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past, because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. Look! Shh. I'm sure I can get her to talk to me. Then what are you waiting for? Knock on the door! Look! <laughs> Mary Pickford. Now where would she pick up a fake name like that? Look! <laughs> what? 
it's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. I brought you these algae cakes. Wait there. Not bad. You got anything else for me? You've got a nice cactus here. You've got a nice cactus here. Quit beating around the bush! Were you expecting anything, uh, in particular? I wasn't expecting you. I hate to see it like this. A blacksmith sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. I brought you this. Already got one. I brought you this. Already got one. You see that car over there? You stole that from, from Carl Sagan, and you, you time jumped into the past. Me? Steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. And I don't give a fig about the past. Listen, lady, you've got to tell us where Hill Valley went. Hill Valley? You're standing in Hill Valley. Population one. But there used to be a regular town here, right? Might be there was a town once long ago. Or might be it was in the future. How many times I gotta tell ya, I don't talk about any time but today! You see that car over there? You stole that from, from Carl Sagan, and you, you time jumped into the past. Me? Steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. And I don't give a fig about the past. Come on, Miss Strickland. Miss who? Strickland. You're Edna Strickland. Take a look at the mailbox, Sonny. Name's Pickford. Mary Pickford. And it has been for as long as I care to remember. And like I told you, I DON'T CARE TO REMEMBER! You 
you see that car over there? Y you stole that from from Carl Sagan, and you you time jumped into the past. Me? Steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever had. Then I don't give a fig about the past. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. You've got a nice cactus here. Quit beating around the bush! I've already got an alarm system! Thanks! I wonder what's cooking. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Ouch! Well, what did you bring me? Sure, with that. Yeah, I can wait. I hate to see it like this. I'm sure I can get her to talk to me. Then what are you waiting for? Knock on the door! I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. Well, what did you bring me? sure what that I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things ouch I brought you this I ain't interested in flowers what do you hear and I especially ain't interested in talking flowers put them away we must have brought something Edna wants. Don't look at me. I didn't bring anything by myself. I brought you these tickets to the expo. What expo? The expo you left when you swiped the DeLorean and jumped back in time. Stop messing with my brain. I don't know nothing about time travel, and I never did. And what's more, I never talk about the past! Uh, 
I brought you this. Already got one. Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment, way back, in the future. You've got a nice cactus here. Quit beating around the bush! I brought you... him! Him! Ho oh, him! Him ho! Sure you remember him, Carl Sagan. Uh, the guy you framed as a speakeasy arsonist. Speakeasy? A arson? That's complete gibberish, Sonny. Whatever you're talking about's got nothing to do with me. I never involve myself in such criminal shenanigans. Still, his features remind me of someone. Look hard! Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. It can't be! Emmett! Yes, Edna. It's me. It is! It's October 13th! Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Darling, you've come back. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, uh, uh. Schnookums. Uh, uh, Schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... what's this? Um... okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh! What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him! I won't have you spreading stories about me! Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him! I won't have you spreading stories about me! Set her, Marty. Sorry.
upset her, Marty. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Sure, what that? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Don't upset her, Marty. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Yeah, I can wait. to see it like this. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? No, Edna. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. But something's about to happen. Oh, yes, yeah, something big. But what? Better not talk to her directly. It'll break the spell. Maybe this will take you back. Back where? I don't want to go back. Stay in the moment, Edna. Please, Marty, don't interrupt the trance. Not sure what that... Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment, way back in the future. Sure what that not sure what that not sure what that What's that? Who's there? Please, Marty, don't interrupt the trance. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Not bad. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. It's locked. Help me figure something out. Yes? You know, I've been dealing with Edna Strickland a lot lately, and I've seen her old and I've seen her young, but I've never seen her so... That shit crazy. Right. I'm not sure what she's searching for. Did Detective Parker do something to Edna at the expo? Yeah, he tried to arrest her. That must be it. Can you think of a way to prompt her memory? Explain something to me, Doc. Edna jumped to the past and made Hill Valley disappear, right? That's the working hypothesis. Then how come we're still around? Whatever Edna did to Hill Valley must have happened so long ago that the ripples in the time stream haven't caught up with us yet. So, how long do we have before the ripples catch up with us? 
Oh, I'm sure we've got at least an hour before everything goes to hell. Great. I still can't believe my grandpa married Trixie. What are we gonna do about that? It's a dire situation, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a back seat to unraveling this unspeakable catastrophe. Edna used the DeLorean to jump into the past. I wonder why she never jumped out again. Put yourself in her shoes. Unexpectedly propelled into the past by an unreliable time machine. Would you risk another trip? I might. If we don't restore the timeline, I'll never be born, r right? Probably not. But even if we do restore it, my grandpa's gone and married the wrong woman. Either way, I'm, I'm host. One crisis at a time, Marty. Right now, let's worry about getting the full story out of Edna. How do you think Edna got this way? I guess that Edna's immense guilt over whatever she did in the past, combined with the trauma of traveling through time, has caused her to repress her memories. If we want to find out what happened, we'll have to break through those blocks, preferably before the time ripples catch up with us. Maybe we could check the time circuits to find out what day she landed. We could, if there's anything left of the time circuits, but I'm afraid they rusted out long ago. You really think we can get through to Edna? She seems pretty... out there. Even the most repressed memories can be restored with the appropriate stimulation. We just have to find the right cues to lead her down a path of emotional recovery before we get erased by the time stream. Sure. No problem. It's disorienting enough under the best of circumstances. And imagine the effect on a mind that's completely unprepared. Especially a mind that does a deal well with chaos. When do you think it died? The DeLorean, I mean. That vehicle hasn't been operational in a very long time. My guess is, whatever happened to Hill Valley also happened to it. I'll figure something out. I'm sure you will. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. Not sure what that... Not sure what that... You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh, he's after me! Ha! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future. Curses! I can't shake him. Well, no use in holding back now. Let's see what this baby can do. And... Here it comes! Yes? Here what comes? I, uh, I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Well, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? Uh, oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Not sure what that... Can't you move a little faster, Danny? He'll never catch me in this car. It's about to do something unbelievable. Can't you move a little faster, Danny? He'll never catch me in this car. It's about to do something unbelievable. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Ouch! Not 
Not sure what that. Not sure what that. I don't suppose the flux capacitor still works. I build my parts sturdy, but not that sturdy. I don't suppose the flux capacitor still works. I build my parts sturdy, but not that sturdy. Shot by ma I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. Oh, Grandfather, how well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure. But all the buildings are so sturdy and well-kept. And the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century. And I know the reason why. Why? why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen. Yes! Good guess. Look at him. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... A... A, a what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something... evil. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. She's got a point, Marshal. You could have run Tannen out of town and saved us all a lot of trouble. She's got a point, Marshal. You could have run Tannen out of town and saved us all a lot of trouble. Maybe this will take you back. Please, Marty, don't interrupt the trance. Maybe this will take you back. Please, Marty, don't interrupt the trance. Not sure what that... Sure what that Not sure what that Not sure what that Not sure what that Not sure what that about a watering hole. A saloon? 
In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that! Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. Hey, she's your granddaughter. You do something. Hey, she's your granddaughter. You do something. like that first we'll need some kerosene apply it liberally to the building site no sense in being parsimonious and now watch isn't it beautiful the devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness <laughs> Burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Oh. What is it, Edna? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> but I am all too thick. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed by fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story, am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals to... Hey. You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Haysville Herald. Two months' worth if you shoot those fellows. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back, you go through the front. Got it. 